My mother taught me to cook. She told me she was never gonna leave me to be as useless as my father. This is the dish for the day. And this recipe is for pork with red beans and fried rice. First, we cut the pork into cubes. Chop the onions nice and fine and chop four chili peppers. The reason for taking out the seeds is to save you from having to sit on a bucket of pour water when you go to the toilet. Chop the ginger and garlic. Heat four tablespoonfuls of corn oil in a wok. And you put in the onions, garlic, peppers, ginger, and then add the pork. I am a vegetarian, but it doesn't worry me to cook meat. And I still think the people who eat meat should go and kill their own. I, I used to kill chickens when I ate meat. Add black pepper, salt, some thyme, and spices, and stir. Oh, brother, can you smell them bay leaf? I use a cardamom, a bay leaf, a piece of cinnamon stick, and some coriander. The person who lived next door to me, his name was Salah. Well, he had a cafe, and he used to cook in the boarding houses, and he used to take me around. In fact, when I was very young, quite a lot of people used to think that I was Arab, because I was always with him and in and out of the Arab boarding houses. Um, and that's how I started to learn about spices. And when a meat is brown, Add a small tin of chopped tomatoes and a cup of water. Bring to the boil and simmer. Rinse the rice and wash out the starch. I was a pig eater. I used to eat a chicken on my own. <laughs> Just go out and pick up a chicken and eat the whole chicken. And then start eating and then eat a meal afterwards. While the rice is cooking, we can open a tin of red beans and wash them off in a colander. When the rice is slightly undercooked, that will leave what my friend called one bone in the rice. Then we can mix in the red beans and let it drain. You know, my mind just wanders and I, I could be thinking of anything while I'm cooking. When the pork is cooked, we can take it out of the sauce and stir it into the red beans and rice. Heat four tablespoonfuls of corn oil, put the red beans, the rice and the pork into the wok and stir fry. When the last bone is gone from the rice, you can add the sauce, just enough to flavor and color the rice mixture. Why, it smell nice, and I'm not gonna enjoy it, you know. How much more you want to know? You're not going to know me recipes, you know. I'm not gonna tell you.